my first reaction on reading the paper was, no, this is wrong, something's wrong. They're gonna think, this is crazy, this is outrageous. I didn't believe it. I still don't believe it properly. It really is a paradigm shift in terms of when humans arrived on this continent. And if it does turn out to be true, it changes absolutely everything. We're excited about the publication of a, uh, of a research project we've been working on for a few years uh, that uh, I guess in a nutshell we could call the oldest archaeological site here in North America. I first visited the site the day it was discovered. I was called by Richard Srudi, a field paleontologist here at the museum, that he had discovered uh, what he thought was a mammoth at a freeway construction site that he was monitoring. We started realizing early on that there were some odd aspects with the skeleton. First of all, it was a mastodon, not a mammoth. But we also found pieces of sharply broken rock, such as this specimen. This is actually the first rock specimen that, we had, that Richard discovered. And that was in association with sharply broken bones of this mastodon. I mean, this is part of a leg bone of a mastodon. And then we also found a large rock in association with these bones, which poses a puzzle, because the remains of this mastodon were found in a silt layer. And geological processes that would deposit silt are not going to be depositing or carrying rocks of this size. And so we're looking at this and thinking, well, how did those rocks get there? What makes sense to us, although it's, it's out there, is that the hypothesis suggesting that humans brought these rocks to this site and that humans use these rocks to break bone like this. It wasn't until 2012 that we had really reliable dates that the site was as old as 130,000 years. It's 100,000 years older than the broadly accepted dates for the first occupation of the Americas. Now, as far as we understand from things like genetics and the archaeology, people move into the Americas sometime maybe 23,000 years ago or less, and they come across the Bering Straits, and these are the ancestors of all the modern First Nation peoples of the Americas today. 130,000 years ago, it's different. The sea lane in between the two continents, between northeastern Siberia and between Alaska, is wider. So that's one problem with this. How do we get humans across? And the other question is, which humans are they going to be? So there are a number of possibilities. But until we actually find a skeleton at this site or at a site of a comparable age in the Americas, it's all open to speculation and we just don't know. So for the archaeologists to say that it's, it's, it's outrageous, how can this be? There's really no evidence other than this one site that the, the humans were here 130,000 years ago. Um, I mean, one of the answers to that question is that, well, if archaeologists aren't looking at rocks this old, so how can they find evidence if they're not looking in the right place? Whether the evidence for human, human interaction with the site is convincing or not, to be honest with you, I'm a little skeptical. My thing is stone tools and I look at the pictures of the stones from there. I put them against the fact that there are no napped stone tools around there at all. And for me, that starts to ring alarm bells a little. I suspect in the long run, most people will want to see it more rigorously investigated. So are the stone tools really properly bashed or is there some explanation for it? Is the bashing on the bones genuinely what they think? Of course, there are other ways to break bone besides just smashing them with a rock. But as we examined closely the specimens that we had from our site, we found no, no marks that were consistent with those kinds of uh, alternative hypotheses. Um, and we even experimented with replicating how bones break and took hammer stones and broke elephant bone to see what kind of damage that caused to the bones. And the pattern of breakage was consistent with what we found at, the, at, at our site here in San Diego. Oh my God. There have been stranger discoveries in archaeology. How implausible is 130,000? Well, maybe it's not completely impossible, but I think it's, it's less of a filling in of a gap than an opening of a whole new chapter. 